Israel yesterday published a blacklist of 20 activist organisations around the world whose leaders will be barred from entering the country because they support a boycott of Israel. The ban on travelling to Israel also makes travel to Palestine much more difficult because Palestine hasn't had a functioning airport since 2000. One of the blacklisted organisations is the Ireland-Palestine Solidarity Campaign, which is chaired by Fatin al-Tamimi. Fatin has lived here in Ireland for many years, but is originally from Palestine. It's a disgraceful, of course, a disgraceful attempt to silence the global voices working to stop the oppression of the Palestinian people. And as a Palestinian, it's a disgusting measure, making me not visiting my people in Palestine, visiting my family and seeing them, preventing me from doing so, as well as my fellow Irish friends who go visit Palestine regularly. Uh, and witness with their eyes uh, what's happening. Uh, it's, uh, for, for Israel, that's portray itself as the most liberal and most democratic uh, state in the Middle East to, to blacklist activists and prevent them from uh, visiting Palestine. It's appalling, and uh, I, I think it's a desperate uh, response because people are more aware of uh, what's happening in Palestine and uh, more aware of the apartheid regime uh, in Israel. So they're trying to to silence these people and not making them go and visit Palestine to see with their own eyes what's happening on the daily basis of uh, arrests, uh, land thefts, establishments of the illegal settlements and the ethnic cleansing uh, on a daily basis and home demolitions and tear gases that... Palestinians uh, face uh, daily. And, and children, Fatin, uh, yeah. are you personally named on a blacklist now of people who cannot travel to Israel? Or is it your understanding, be, but because you are the chair of the Ireland Palestine Solidarity Campaign uh, and along with other members, that if you travel, yeah. you will not be allowed entry? Uh, I, they didn't list my name personally, but I, I am aware previous, from previous years that I am not allowed to go because of my activism or in the BDS because I support the boycott, divestment and sanction. And now uh, as the chair of Ireland Palestine Solidarity Campaign of a movement that, of, uh, of a group that uh, work uh, for, with that movement, the global movement of boycott, divestment and sanction, of course, they'll target me uh, personally as well. And what do you think will be the effect of this ban? if any, on the work of your organisation and the, the, the other 19 organisations included on this list? That will me, me, means that we're going to work harder, work stronger, uh, until the freedom is uh, revealed, until people, Palestinians get their uh, justice, uh, freedom and equality. And as Simon Kovny uh, at the moment in Israel, uh, I call on him to, to be, uh, first of all, he shouldn't be meeting with uh, the Israeli legitimizing uh, Israel, but I would call uh, him to, to, uh, to make sure he'll, uh, I'll ask him to raise this issue and uh, consider uh, doing back, a background check maybe on Israelis who visit Ireland uh, with no questions asked. Would you and propose meeting this ban with urging other countries to impose a similar ban on Israelis travelling? Oh no! It's uh, no. Just maybe ask uh, the Irish government to to make a uh, a background check, maybe uh, similar to to what they do to uh, the activists. Uh, maybe to do it here instead of uh, Israelis going in and out uh, freely. Uh, Palestinians can't go, uh, can't come to Ireland without uh, visa and uh, background check. Maybe just do that in, uh, in reverse. Maybe. Uh, and another thing, I just wanted to ask Simon Kovny while he's in. Um, in Israel meeting the Israelis as well to demand uh, the freedom of Ahd al-Tamimi, child prisoners and the other 250 Palestinian child prisoners at the moment in the Israeli jails, which is uh, really important. Ahd al-Tamimi has been there in, um, more than three weeks now uh, in jail because of uh, fighting for her freedom and justice uh, for the Palestinian people. And coming back to these uh, listed organizations now, the Israelis would say they're moving from defense to, to offense, they say, and they're barring organizations like yours and, and individuals associated with your organization because you're calling for a boycott of Israel. They're meeting fire with fire, if you like. 
No, that's not fire with fire. This is uh, uh, BDS is the basic uh, demands uh, are freedom, justice, and equality for the Palestinian people, which is the right of uh, self-determination in the occupation, the right of return and uh, for all Palestinians refu- uh, and all Palestinians uh, refugees, equality for the Palestinian living in Israel. Uh, that's not fire to fire. We're boycotting Israel like what happened in South Africa. The world boycotted South Africa until uh, it. Uh, ended the apartheid regime, and it's the same here. It's a very peaceful uh, movement, a global movement. Fatin al-Tamimi of the Ireland-Palestine Solidarity Campaign. She was speaking to me a little earlier. We hear from Sandra Hurley at the Disclosures.